Hammer's multiple rocket launch system. This is the most precise weapon provided by Ukraine's allies. The Ukrainian armed forces have already mastered it. Having only a few units of this equipment, they inflicted significant losses for the Russian occupiers. Waders cannot cope with such impact, and Russian media are massively spreading lies about the alleged destruction of the Western weapons. Fake photos and videos are released both in the media and on the internet. Stories and articles have appeared too, and not only to the Russian internal audience, but for international as well. Russian forces fired cruise missiles to destroy a large depot containing US and European weapons in western Ukraine's Ternopil region, Interfax reported. From an article destroyed depot with western weapons in Ukraine, Russia, on NDTV website. Such messages appeared in the first days after the arrival of the HIMARS to Ukraine. Another Russian message appeared recently, claiming that the Russian forces have destroyed two HIMARS units on the battlefield in the east of Ukraine. This fake was exposed by the advisor to the head of the office of the president of Ukraine, Serhii Leshenko. Russian propagandists actively picked up the thesis about the alleged destruction of two HIMARS multiple rocket launch systems. But at the same time, they point to the location of the destroyed equipment where it had never been. This information throw in is refuted by the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine. We note that these reports do not correspond to reality and are nothing but another Russian fake. The HIMARS missile system provided by American partners are constantly inflicting devastating strikes on strategically important enemy positions. This leads to enormous losses in equipment, personnel and supplies for the occupation troops. Why are they so afraid of this weapon? Here is an example. This is footage of one of the Russian forces ammunition depots on the temporarily occupied territories of Ukraine. Video captured on the 29th of June. Russian occupiers are stocking up shells. And this video shows the enemy depot two weeks later. Or what is left of the depot. It was destroyed by Ukrainian armed forces using HIMARS multiple launch rocket systems provided by the United States. This indicates that Ukraine is using HIMARS precisely to destroy enemy military capabilities. Dozens of ammunition depots have already been crushed, and no one unit of Western equipment has not been lost by the Ukrainian army. Valery Zaluzhny, commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, in his conversation with General Mark Milley, U.S. chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, underlined that Ukraine is effectively using provided equipment. We discussed the pace and volume of international technical assistance deliveries. I emphasize that the Ukrainian side is clearly aware of the responsibility for each weapon and will not allow it to fall into the hands of terrorists. Valery Zaluzhny, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. General Mark Milley also noted the effectiveness of missile and artillery systems, particularly the HIMARS on the battlefield in Ukraine. Advisor to the head of the Office of the President of Ukraine, Oleksiy Arestovich, confirms that every HIMARS shot was accurate. The enemy suffers significant losses both in ammunition and manpower. The United States and European countries understand that Russia threatens not only Ukraine, but the entire Europe. And its aggression can be stopped. General Mark Milley stressed that Russia's invasion of Ukraine has dramatically transformed security on the continent. Those soldiers, those troops that I mentioned, they're standing watch right now. During one of the most pivotal and dangerous times in our lifetime, they are reassuring our allies. They are working with our partners to keep us safe, and they are supporting Ukraine as Ukraine fights to defend their nation and their sovereignty. UCOM is critical to the security of the United States, to Europe, and frankly, to the world. Thousands of U.S. military personnel are constantly located in Europe. Two weeks ago, there was a change of those serving. Milley noted that these 100,000 are jointly training and working with 3 millions of army personnel of the entire Europe. The United States regarding Russian invasion of Ukraine will deploy more troops to help both Ukraine and Europe in security issues. This was stated by U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin. They'll take inspiration from the, the resilience and the valor of the Ukrainian people. They'll take heart from the way that nations of goodwill rallied against Putin's aggression. 
And they'll remember the way that we moved to, to defend every member of NATO. And they'll recall the way that we renewed the institutions and alliances that deepen our shared security. Ukraine is the most valuable NATO ally in counteraction to the Russian aggression. Jens Stoltenberg, NATO Secretary General speaking to the European Parliament on EU-NATO cooperation issue, noted that Ukraine should be moved from Soviet military equipment to modern NATO standards weapons. Since the invasion in February, allies have stepped up significantly and we also agreed um, uh, uh, a comprehensive assistance package uh, uh, also on how to help uh, Ukraine uh, to move from Soviet air equipment to more modern NATO standard uh, uh, equipment and also how to provide more support also for the longer term building defense and security uh, institutions uh, in in, uh, in Ukraine. Analysts in Europe also say that the West has to help Ukraine in its battle against Russian aggression regarding the collective security of the entire European region. The fate of the war in Ukraine will determine the destiny of countries on the verge of tipping, but also the future of Russia. If the West does everything for a total victory of Ukraine, it will also act for the good of other peoples. Nikola Tenza, analyst of international and security issues, former head of department at the General Planning Commission, France. NATO considers redeploying its eastern flank countries with more effective weapons, especially air and missile defense. Thus, Patriot systems have already been deployed in Slovakia. In turn, Slovakia offered to provide Ukraine with S-300 anti-aircraft systems and MiG-29 fighter jets. Air defense is a very important issue for Ukraine regarding the constant threat of air and missile attacks by Russia. The war in Ukraine has of course also shown and made it very clear that all NATO countries, in particular the countries of NATO's eastern flank, needs to be able to protect their own airspace and have to protect it. Moreover, for many years Ukrainian armed forces have been involved in joint NATO allies military drills. And the Ukrainian army has one of the greatest combat experiences among NATO allies regarding eight years resistance to Russian aggression. Earlier there were joint military drills rapid trading on the territory of Ukraine. Now due to the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Ukrainian soldiers are actively training in joint military drills both on the territory of Europe and in the United States. Ukrainian servicemen are already experienced in what NATO standards weapons are. They are mastering on the battlefield with scrap tanks, M777 howitzer, HIMARS multiple rocket launch systems, Harpoon anti-ship missile systems. Ukraine is also expecting Patriot anti-aircraft systems and fighter jets. Negotiations on providing 300 km range missiles to HIMARS systems are ongoing. Such missiles will help Ukraine to cut off Russian weapons supplies via Crimea and to liberate the south of Ukraine. President Volodymyr Zelensky has already ordered it. Reported by Roman Smoller, UATV News.